Yesterday it was Ladies' Day at Ascot and the Duchess of Cambridge's mum, Carol Middleton, arrived by carriage in the royal procession looking every inch the society lady. However, uh, not everyone seemed to fit in. Pictures today show a huge brawl that broke out and others show some people who were very smartly dressed but were sporting a variety of, shall we say, body art. <laughs> but when we go to posh do's, do you ever feel like a fish out of water? Do you feel like you don't, need to, you don't quite fit in? I think I'm better now than I used to be. I used to have a massive chip on my shoulder, so I'd walk in like a posh restaurant and expect to feel like a hand on my shoulder in front of them and go, oh, look at her shoes, get her out, you know. <laughs> but I'm better oh, now. Oh, she's brought her own food with her because oh, a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. It'd never be a chip on my shoulder because I would have eaten it by now. Oh, <laughs> It was good, you just wish you'd thought oh, of it first. Dear. No, I, I thought of it and dismissed it instantly. So did I. <laughs> But I still sometimes fall down because I, I went into quite a fancy restaurant recently and uh, and things are going all right. And um, I went in and everything was going really well. I thought I was behaving as, exactly as I should do. And then they brought the pudding out and it looked amazing that I got my camera out my bag and took a photo of it. <laughs> and I was instantly sprung as being a little bit common. You're not supposed to take, <laughs> you're not supposed to take photos of your puddings, are you? <laughs> but it looked amazing. Have you still got it? Yeah. What is it? And not the pudding. The pudding. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, have you still got the picture of yeah, the pudding? Yeah, it was, um, it was uh, a brandy, chocolate brandy snap sort of palette with uh, spheres of different coloured uh, sorbe as, as paints. It was amazing. That's so tragic. <laughs> What's you tragic? You took a picture of your pudding in a posh restaurant. No, I think that's a nice thing to do. It's not, it's, it's, no, you don't take pictures of food. No one does I that. I take pictures of every pudding that I eat. Um, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Gallery on my website, I just, and I don't make them because I don't cook. I just, just everything I eat. <laughs> anyway, going back to the posh do's thing. I, I no, I don't. I don't get. I don't get intimidated really. I was a little bit intimidated and a, li a little bit put out when I went to the Oxford mm. Union because it was full of very sort of clever people, and it's mm. a very intimidating building, the Union Debate Hall. It's, you know, it's really old and, and there's lots of wood and, and there's lots of really brainy people. Then I thought, and then there's me, like a loose woman. But then I thought, hang on, they've invited me here, so I have a right to be here. So I just went for it. So it's fine. But with big posh do's, I don't get intimidated, I just get bored. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, so if someone invites me to, like, a, a ball in the country with a lot of people that I don't know and I don't probably won't particularly like, I'll just say no. I'm not going. Thank you very much indeed. And I won't go. We went to the Houses of Parliament, didn't we? Yeah, and you fitted in, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't intimidated. Though. You were. That's no, the you reason I got to go. You were so unintimidated that two women had to help me carry you out. That's how <laughs> unintimidated you were. At least I didn't tell George Osborne that I was tempted to flash my underwear at him in number no, 11. He said that he'd seen this show and he'd heard about my compulsive flashing disorder. Don't lie. I get... I get... <laughs> let me just say that in a minute, but just, I, just, I just remembered something earlier that, that obviously some of the places that we go to, you get lovely people who come up and ask you to, to sign things and everything, which is lovely. But I went to, the, I went to this really, really posh place recently and, this, and I was chatting to my friends and, um, and this guy came over and, and said to me, um, excuse me, would you, would you sign this, please? And I went, yeah, 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 who is it for? And he went, it's the bill. <laughs> <laughs> But we went to um, we did go we went to uh, we went to 11 Downing Street mm. and I could you know it was that stupid thing because whenever I'm doing a photo I always for some reason do that put me thing out do that leg thing like that which of course I still did with George George Osborne yeah and then and you had the shortest skirt on in but the I whole didn't wide mean world. to there is a clip there is a clip of a of, of, a, of a photo of me outside 10 Downing Street <coughs> I don't know if they've got it right now that is quite inappropriate that length of that dress which I didn't realize but the funny story here mm. is that that's my mm. friend Lucian who used to be in Waterloo Road, good, lo lovely young actor. And obviously it's quite at a distance. So my friend Gary, who the girls know, who's one of the drivers on Waterloo Road, was, was looking at it recently and he sh got the sight thing like me and he went, oh, he said, I forgot he was over here. He looks a good laugh. And I said, what do you mean he looks a good laugh? I said, that's <laughs> Lucian who used to drive. He went, thought it was Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises if I'd got E Barack. Come on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be shocked by that. <laughs> you would, you know, wouldn't you? Meanwhile.
Meanwhile, Barrack's at home going, oh, I've just got to be that wasn't me. I'm <laughs> oh. Now, if you...